my name is Nat and today we are now going to do A level mathematics. Today we are going to go through the topic of functions and graphs. The textbook I am using is by Linsky, Nicholson and Weston and is made by the Oxford University Press. Now let us answer this question. What is a function? A function is defined as a mapping where every element of the domain is mapped onto exactly one element of the range. Keep in mind that the two both words, we are going to go through them soon. In the meantime, pause the video to write this definition down or take a picture of it. What are the domain and range? A domain is like the input and the range is like the output on the function. Think of a machine, we are going to see it later, which puts the domain in this way and outputs the range. As you can see from the example here, the range can be calculated by finding minimum and maximum of the function, as you can see here. If there are no maxima or minima, you can use biographical methods. Feel free to draw the graph out, as in this example. Since this graph doesn't fit into any of the standard forms we've seen before, you'll we'll just have to calculate the range from the graph. This is by far probably one of the most efficient methods to find the range. Now let's talk about operations of functions. What is a composite function? The name may sound scary, but it is just a fancy word for two functions done one after the another. To explore this idea further, we need to use machines. Let's imagine a function as a machine, sort of like this, which you can see here. It inputs a number and outputs a number. Let us call this function f. Now, there is another function which works on the same principle called g. It may be the same or different function from f. As you can see in this schematic, the output of f flows directly into the input of g. Can we represent this as a function? Yes, since there is only one input and one output. In mathematical notation, we call this g f x. Notice that the order of the composite functions is written from bottom to top when it comes to machines. Let us instead let the output of g flow into the input f. Can we represent this as a function? Still yes, since there's only one input and there's only one output. But this type is called fgx, reading the machines from bottom to top. Always remember this when you are doing composite functions. gfx is not always the same as fgx. A third class of functions we will see are inverse functions, which inverts the action of the function. To explore this, we need some more machines. We have the same old function f, but we're going to add something new to it. None other than the inverse function, f inverse. This is still a function, but it outputs the input instead. The inverse function turns the output into the input, and vice versa, start of like f's evil twin perhaps now these functions and the functions like f f inverse x is the same as f inverse f x that is one exception to the f g x is not equal to g f x rule you can try checking this out by plotting some functions onto desmos or writing it out algebraically we will now explore the concept of transformations if you like i a desmos graph in the description so you can explore this idea further so let's talk about all the transformations possible starting with reflections. F negative x is a reflection on the y axis and negative fx is the reflection on the x axis. Then we have the four translations, a units to the right, a units to the left, a units up and a units down. F's a stretch. Fx on the a is a stretch by a factor of a on the x axis and afx is a stretch by a factor of a on the y axis. Then again, we can use Desmos graphs to do this. We can input functions into Desmos even. But this is how I was taught this method. But I thought of a method which will be even easier to understand than just memorizing all the definitions. They are called outside and inside transformations. Some transformations modify the outside of the bracket, but some modify inside. Sometimes the inside functions can get a bit confusing probably switch signs and multiply by reciprocals. So it will be very, very helpful to memorize the outside inside table to see what functions correspond to their inside variants. And if this helps you remember, please tell me and tell your teacher about this method. 
Thank you and see you in my next A-Level Maths video.